all right guys <clears throat> welcome back to turner fishing so today's video as y'all seen in the intro i'm gonna try to uh, teach y'all a little bit more about fishing bridges and i'm gonna try to use as much live scope footage as i can possibly get y'all know how i do i do one take you know i'm gonna explain some things we're gonna catch some fish we're gonna have a good time so if you haven't already be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me it means a lot to the channel and i mean we're growing we're past six thousand about to be at seven thousand and i don't see when we're gonna stop so the big thing i see with people fishing bridges they're gonna come in you know they're like oh well i watched old turner fishing video i'm gonna throw it out here and this is what they do they throw it out there they're like all right we in the water now let's start winding but no you know right now i've got uh four or five fish in the boat it is currently one o'clock in the afternoon i've been trying to find fish all day so i'm gonna show you right here on live scope once i get my jig down there i'm going pretty much all the way to the bottom of this ledge right here y'all see this ledge in a second we'll see my jig see my jig's caught up in the the image from the bridge right now so now we're just there it is i was on the bottom so right there right here is my jig and the fish i'm targeting is is literally right there on the bottom so we're gonna come up just a little bit more you know i'm not i'm not moving my live scope transducer because i see my jig fine and i see a fish <clears throat> so now we're right on top of their heads got one kind of looking at it but not committed to it let's move the transducer just a little bit so i have a better view of my jig i mean a lot of you are probably like dang how does he see his jig and it, i mean i've got thousands of hours on this thing it's i mean it takes time to learn that you can't just plug it up and automatically know everything about it right now i'm above this fish i'm just jigging it up trying to get his attention i'm gonna kind of drop it on him a little bit like that and come back up with it see if he gets interested in it come on buddy i'm gonna hold it still for a minute barely jig it just to get that tail just a little bit of action here drop it back down back up i'm gonna pull it up a little bit let it slowly fall down i mean honestly right now i'm trying to get a reaction strike we're gonna go up to this fish above him see what he does just because he's there He's not really doing much. Got to position the boat. That's another thing with live scope. I mean, you've got to remember that you're staring at a screen and not be running into stuff. <clears throat> I mean, technically, I could probably tie up right now and do just fine, but not really trying to tie up. Now we're gonna come over here a little bit. It's all about that reaction strike right now. It's a pretty good one over there. Make sure our jig is all the way on the head. Make a small pitch over there. It don't take much to get down to the bottom on these pillars. I 
you see my jig there's my jig right there i'm moving my rod down so it can go down further going right by this fish's face there he is right there just like that guys nice one too that's old he hung right there he got something on him ew <laughs> Check out this guy's fin. Nasty. Oh. There's number five or six, something like that. So now, as I've said in my other videos, what do we do guys? Drop a comment down below, what do we do? I'm gonna wait. We repeat the cast. So we know we threw about that far over there i have a 1 16th ounce custom painted chrome jig head and a toe color minnow that's what it's all i'm using i would rather have a 132 ounce but i ran out i gotta put some more in my box so now we're just going down i don't even see my jig yet but i know we made the exact cast that we made before so i'm confident with it I mean, you don't need live scope to do this if you can get a bite and repeat the cast that's all you need to do fishing bridges is oftentimes extremely slow like a lot of people you know think we come out here and limit out in an hour and sometimes that's possible but a bridge is a grind spot there's always fish on a bridge for the most part i mean sometimes they're not but 90% of the time there's fish on bridges that hold depth. So now we're gonna find our jig real quick. And we're gonna go right by them fish's face again. I mean, sometimes it's difficult to find it. We're right above them, so we're gonna drop it down. And right there, we're on our face. We didn't make the perfect cast that time. So let's let's do it again. I mean, it ain't nothing to, to wind in and recast. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, there's our jig falling right there. Right here's our jig. So we're gonna drop it down on our face. Give it a little shake, a tail a little action on it. And we're just honestly seeing if we can make one of them come up and check it out. Here comes one right here. You can barely see him coming up. Come on, buddy. He didn't want it. So we wind up and we re-repeat the cast. If you find some fish that want to bite, they will bite some more. I mean, I could go to the next pillar, which I mean, I'm probably gonna do here in a little bit. But right now I'm fishing these fish right here and that's the ones I wanna target. So we're coming by them, that's my jig right there, right above the fish on, the, on that ledge. We're slowly creeping by them, give it a little bit of action. Got a couple of them checking it out. Reposition the boat here. So I'm right above that, that blob on the left. He's coming up. Come on, buddy. Don't be camera shy. And that's one of the most frustrating things about this system, guys. That is a good fish right there. And we almost had him. We came up, our jigs are right here right now. Just trying to see if they'll bite. Nope. So we're gonna repeat the cast. Reposition the live scope. My jig's falling right there. Give us a line.
nobody.